In the news from Jamaica with statistics showing about $5 billion in losses annually, the government has finally established a nationwide pre-larceny prevention unit. On Thursday, Agriculture Minister Derek Kellyer thanked the various ministries and agencies involved in the initiative. He was especially pleased that the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, will be taking a leading role. Having the Jamaica Constabulary Force leading the anti predator last charge, we now expect an intensification of operations on the ground. In order to bolster the efficiency of these officers, we are pleased to also announce today that a major private sector company has kindly consented to assist the ministry to purchase an appropriate motor vehicle to serve the unit. Minister Keller made it clear that the prevention of predal larceny cannot only be left up to the police. He outlined other measures the government hopes to implement in the coming months. The prevention of predal larceny is not just about police operations. A critical element is the installation of a proper traceability system. As you are aware, last November we launched the National Animal Identification and Traceability System which is proceeding apace and we are happy that there is now a budget line item of 16 million dollars from the Ministry of Finance to carry out that program. We expect the National Animal Identification and Traceability System to make a major difference in the tracking of animals and as part of that program the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries will in a few Days announced another major initiative in relation to our support to our regional abattoir. At the same time, we are very advanced with having our laboratories certified. All these efforts, apart from ensuring safe food, will also assist with our pre day lasting prevention efforts. The Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries continues to work on a comprehensive slew of legislative amendments to support our anti predia last first. And I will be taking to Cabinet within a month or so proposals for changes to legislations, to expand the definition of predia larceny, to cover the larceny of livestock, including fish, and indeed to cover all agricultural activities. Meanwhile, National Security Minister Peter Bunting encouraged more collaboration between ministries. This initiative signals a partnership, which is what we have been encouraging, that ministries, departments and agencies don't operate in silos, but we partner not just with each other, but also with non-governmental organizations, private sector, faith-based institutions, uh, community associations, farmers associations, to build this sort of network and to build a united front to change uh, the situation that we now face in the agricultural sector with respect to Prairie Alaska.